so guys i'm going to be showing you guys how i'm going to be showing you guys the chemicals i use in my tomatoes farming so these are my fungi side these are the fungi side i use uh we don't mean good i use surf i use blurry i have blurry then blue snow insecticide and fungicide so those are my fungicide then uh this i i make use of insecticide also uh ladder force i use ladder force I'm, i've already started using this one so this is potassium this is a selective herbicide so after transplanting mind you have already transplanted my seedlings so after transplanting the seedlings we use um, potassium this is um, a selective herbicide to fit the tomatoes farm to prevent and to kill weed from tomatoes farm because if you use any other um herbicide that is not a selective herbicide that is meant for tomatoes then it is going to affect your tomatoes plant negatively it's going to give it fungi, fungi infection so and when when that happens you just have to use fungicide uh, to spray the um, tomatoes farm so but when you use potassium uh, a selective um, herbicide you can use it even though it touches the tomatoes plant it's not going to kill the tomatoes plant it's just going to kill the weed in the farm so this um this is this contains uh, calcium and boron uh, but so i will use I'll make use of this one for the flowering stage of the tomatoes um of the tomatoes plant so when the tomatoes plant starts bringing forth flowers i'll start making use of this um liquid calcium and boron to ensure that it brings forth a lot of um flowers and also those flowers get pollinated and you know become tomatoes um fruit so then i make use of caterpillar caterpillar force for when you know when the um tomatoes start bringing um fort flowers you start seeing butterflies flying all over the farm trying to lay their eggs in the flower of the tomatoes so at that stage that is when i make use of um caterpillar force that stage because when the um you can see the caterpillar so when the when the butterflies lay their egg in the flower of the tomatoes that flower actually becomes the tomatoes you know it's from the flower that you get tomatoes when it is pollinated so when the maggot and when the egg is already inside the flower and then before it becomes tomatoes fruit the the, the, the egg will be in the tomatoes fruit already so it's just going to be developing in the tomatoes fruit as a, tom as a tomatoes fruit is um, growing and increasing in size so is the maggot that is the butterfly the caterpillar of the uh, butterfly egg because it will have come caterpillar then it will, it will be developing too in the tomatoes fruit so uh, when it is mature enough is is going to come out it start going it is going to start putting holes in your tomatoes fruit so spoiling the tomatoes and making it to rot so when your tomatoes and um, plants start flowering you make use of caterpillar force when you notice that there are butterflies flying all over the farm because of the flowers of the tomatoes plant so uh before i this is caterpillar too i just make use of um this empty container so i diluted it i diluted it into liquid form for me to get the easy measurement you know and for efficiency so uh to mix it i don't use it like this i will first of all mix it up in this um one liter can one liter can filled with water then pour one sachet in it leave it shake it let it um, dissolve 
so you get your caterpillar liquid form caterpillar force in liquid form yeah so for easy measurements so that is it then uh this is a uh, super glue not the big can just uh, the measured one so it's almost done because i'm done i only made the use of this we make use of this i'm um, doing the tomatoes nursery when the tomatoes is still in the nursery so we make use of um, super growth to boost its growth so that is it then you can see my measurement um, spoon this is a 2.5 mil spoon so uh, this is a 50 mil measurement cup so then you can see my um, NPKs uh, this is Algovet 202020 that is NPK 202020 um, uh, we mix it um, the measurement for this is, uh, I, is I take 50 mil 50 mil for uh, 50 mil for one knapsack tank that is 16 liters so I take 50 mil I uh, make use of this uh, when in, uh, yeah, let me, after transplanting some few weeks after transplanting it to boost the nitrogen the um, phosphorus and the potassium content in the soil and to you know boost the growth then I have Agrovet um, 6 13 46 so you can see the number showing how much of the um, MPK is in the formula so you can see that this one is low in nitrogen uh, it's a little bit higher than nitrogen in phosphorus then the highest is the potassium so uh, this will be used for when the tomatoes plant is already having fruit to make the fruit strong and you know to give it that um, firmness so and then uh, i have two of it because uh, i have two of these then this is tandem is also a fungicide but it has copper content in it it's only used when is a fungicide too it's a fungicide but it has copper content in it so let me add it to the fungicide section then i have um agrovet agrovet 114614 this one is highest in um, phosphorus so i think this for flowering when it's also flowering we, i'll make use of this fertilizer these are fertilizers so i make use of them so that is it guys uh, i'm going to be showing you guys i've already transplanted my tomatoes um, onto the field so I'm going to be showing you guys the growth process of it um, later on now I'm trying I'm wetting it uh, because we just finished transplanting it yesterday so we planted four plots then we still have some seedlings left on the nursery bed for replacement in case there's anyone that in case there's anyone that does not survive the transplanting phase of um, the tomatoes process so um stay tuned to my channel for more updates regarding my tomatoes farm uh, thank you and thank you for watching bye